So the question is, when we react hydrochloric acid and copper, HCl plus Cu, what happens? It looks like the copper might be able to come in in a single replacement reaction and then push the hydrogen out and bond with the Cl. Then the hydrogen would be by itself. That's one possibility. But to understand that, we have to know which is more reactive, copper or hydrogen. That's why we'll use the activity series of the metals. So let's put our hydrogen back and our copper over here like we started out with and see if this reaction actually happens. So when we look on the activity series, the least reactive, those are at the bottom, and the most reactive are at the top. If copper were more reactive, it could push the H out and bond with the chlorine. But look at copper. It's right below hydrogen. That means it's less reactive and that it will not push the H out. Therefore, there's no reaction. If you put hydrochloric acid and copper together, nothing will happen. The activity series, it's helpful in determining whether a single displacement reaction will actually happen because we can look up each metal or hydrogen on the chart and tell which is more or less reactive. Note that if you put concentrated HCl with copper and you add something like H2O2 that has oxygens available, you will get a reaction. But in this case, HCl plus Cu, there's no reaction. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.